I recently had a conversation with my friend Elliot on why some films and projects look like students made it. And before you get angry at me, I can say that because I went to film school. One of the key answers that we both agreed on was the lack of movement in these projects, so thank you for today's video topic Elliot and let's jump into it and talk about how you can use movement to make your videos better. Let's start with the trusty old Dana Dolly. Using the Dana Dolly, you'll get smooth and stable camera movement, allowing you to create dynamic shots. It allows for a variety of movements, such as the tracking shot, the dolly in, and the dolly out. The Dana Dolly is very adaptable to basically all shooting situations, whether you're on location, in studio, or in tight spaces like this where big camera rigs might not fit. Lastly, it's very simple to set up and use, and not to mention it's very budget friendly for those productions where, you know, you don't have the budget that you might want. Let's move on to my favorite way of adding movement to your shots, shooting handheld. Right off the bat, it's very flexible and time efficient because you're just holding the camera in your hand. Another point that most people don't talk about is shooting handheld can add a sense of realism and intimacy between the subject and the audience because you're right there, you're handheld, the camera's breathing and you're moving with your subjects. Shooting handheld can also add certain types of energies, whether it be chaotic, uplifting, calm, you name it. It also depends on how you use it. And a quick tip to finish this off, please use an ease rig as soon as possible because your back will thank you. Now this is something I've started to do more recently, especially if I know that the camera itself is going to be locked off on sticks or some sort of stabilizer. And it's adding movement to either the lighting or the subjects. And just a point I want to throw out there is that a good static shot can be super underused or underrated, so don't discount a good static shot. Of course there's multiple other ways to add movement to your shots. These are just three I've done recently, whether it's the Dana Dolly, handheld, or movement of lighting and subjects. Overall, the main takeaway is that movement is super important to production, and if you can do it properly, you can elevate that and make better videos and get more clients. 